Have you ever had a DVD that's got additional files in a data or an extras folder on the DVD? These are found through the uh, Windows or other different type of Explorer as you go through the menu. What this does is it allows people to include files or photos or music or additional content on the DVD that doesn't play from the DVD but rather it treats the DVD as though it were a data container like a hard drive. Well here's how you can do that in DVD Architect. We're going to really quickly author a DVD that's got some video and got some included uh, photographs inside the DVD. Let's have a look. First thing we're going to do is go down and grab a theme. So we'll click on the themes tab, click over here and find one that I previously built here. There we go. Just double click and that applies the, the theme here. We're going to get rid of this particular track. And next thing we're going to do is let's lay in a, a video. So we'll go to our Explorer over here and we'll just drag a video up there. Great, we've got our video set up. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to include all of the photographs that came from this individual's skydive or this uh, individual's activity with his video. So let's uh, go to File, Properties, and in Properties we're going to scroll down here. You can see here where it allows us to have an Extras folder. So when we click on the Extras folder it allows us to go through and browse our DVD so I just need to go through and browse until I can find Roger's folder. In Roger's folder, there's his photographs. So I'm just going to choose OK. And those photos are now going to be included on the DVD. If I want, we can insert a jacket photo. So it might be that we want to grab a photo from somewhere in the, the um, folder as well. So we can go back up and we'll go back to our, our folder where all of the different pieces are. We'll click on Roger. We'll look for one of his photographs and we'll choose a, a fun photograph of, of Roger here towards the, the beginning. There we go. And that's going to be the jacket picture when something isn't seen. In other words, when, when there's nothing else happening in the DVD. So let's choose Preview. And if we choose Stop, it comes up and shows us Roger's picture there, shows us a picture of, of what's going on. When we click play, it takes us back to our menu. Now when we go to burn the DVD, all we need to do is click on make DVD and it's going to include all of those extras in the DVD. So these extras are going to show up in a folder labeled extras and the way that your client or the way that you'll access these is by going into your Explorer and right clicking and looking at your DVD and choosing Explore from that submenu when you right click. That's all there is to it. It's a great way to include extras on the DVD. Stay tuned for more fast tips from Vast.